the eagerly anticipated sequel to Knives Out has arrived, and it may have even more twists and turns than its predecessor. Benoit Blanc, the detective who was at the center of 2019's first installment, is back to reprise his role, but he's the only returning member of the cast. Glass Onion is structured around a series of reveals, the first being that Dave Bautista's Duke Cody has been poisoned in what seems to be an accident. The drink that was poisoned initially appears to be that of Miles Braun, Edward Norton, the tech billionaire who invited them all to the island. Braun is the powerhouse at the center of this group of friends, and the one responsible for everyone else's success. What both we and Blanc discover, though, is that Braun's success was built on the back of Cassandra Andy Brand, who did most of the work to build their tech company and was then forced out by Braun. Braun convinced the rest of his friend group to side with him in a dispute over a bar napkin that contained detailed plans for the company. Andy was the napkin's actual author, but Braun claimed that he was the one who created. During the COVID-19 pandemic in May 2020, Miles Braun, the billionaire co-founder of the technology company Alpha, decides to host a murder mystery game at his mansion, The Glass Onion, on his private island in Greece. He invites five friends, Alpha head scientist Lionel Toussaint, Connecticut Governor Claire DeBella, controversial fashion designer Bertie J, men's rights streamer Duke Cody, and Alpha co-founder and ousted ex-CEO Cassandra Andy Brand. Famous detective Benoit Blanc also receives an invitation and joins the group, along with Bertie's assistant Peg and Duke's girlfriend Whiskey. Miles questions the presence of Blanc, not invited by him, but allows him to stay, assuming that another guest invited him as a joke. Blanc overhears Peg confront Miles over a PR statement he wants Bertie to release, and sees Duke watch Whiskey in bed with Miles. Before dinner, Miles shows off the Mona Lisa, which he has on loan from the Louvre, and reveals that the glass onion is powered by Clear, a hydrogen-based alternative fuel that Alpha will launch in a week, despite Lionel's and Claire's safety concerns. Blanc solves Miles's pretend murder mystery immediately, and tensions over Andy's presence culminate in her leaving the main party room. Suddenly, Duke collapses and dies after drinking from Miles's glass, the panicking group suspects Andy. After the group discovers that Duke's pistol is missing, the power goes out and everyone splits up in the chaos. Blanc finds Andy, but an unseen assailant shoots her. Blanc gathers the rest of the group and announces that he has solved Andy's murder. An extended flashback shows that Andy actually died, supposedly by suicide, a week before the trip, and her twin sister Helen hired Blanc to investigate her death. At Alpha, Andy had halted development of Clear due to safety concerns, and so Miles had her removed as CEO. This maneuver was supported by their friends perjuring themselves by testifying that he had single-handedly sketched out the plan for Alpha years ago on a napkin. However, Andy rediscovered the original napkin where she had written out the idea, and emailed a photo of the evidence to the group. Helen suspects that someone in the group killed Andy to avoid being discredited and to gain favor with Miles. With the news of Andy's death not yet public, Blanc proposed that Helen pose as Andy at Miles's party, helping him investigate. What really happened, we discover, is that the real Andy was murdered before the movie even began. The person who has been impersonating her on the island is actually Andy's twin sister, Helen, a humble schoolteacher who contacted Blanc after she discovered that her sister had died under suspicious circumstances. Blanc ultimately convinces her to travel to the island and impersonate her sister, as he deduces that most of Andy's former friends aren't yet aware that she has died. Helen helps Blanc discover motives for each member of the group to protect Miles from Andy, Lionel and Claire have already staked their reputations on Clear, Miles is financially rescuing Bertie from the fallout of employing child labor, and Duke is using whiskey to seduce Miles in exchange for a role at Alpha News. Helen also discovers that all four other guests visited Andy's home on the day of her death. Helen disrupts the party so she can search the guest rooms for Andy's napkin. When she is shot, Andy's journal in her jacket pocket stops the bullet, but Blanc tells the other guests she was killed, creating an opportunity for her to finish the search in Miles's office. 
Blanc reveals his deduction that Miles was responsible for both murders. Miles killed Andy after learning she had the napkin, but Duke saw Miles's car leaving her house. When news of Andy's death was finally released online during the party, Duke realized that Miles was responsible and attempted to blackmail him in order to get on Alpha News. This prompted Miles to poison him, exploiting his allergy to pineapple, and to snatch Duke's pistol, with which he would shoot Helen. Helen locates Andy's original napkin in Miles's office, and her true identity, and survival, is revealed to the group. However, Miles burns the napkin, eliminating the evidence against him. Ultimately, we discover that Braun is the one behind Andy's murder, and that he's not nearly as smart as he seems to be. He intentionally murdered Duke because Duke had discovered that Andy was dead, and knew that Braun was behind it. The whole movie was just Braun covering his tracks, and Blanc figures that out. In the end, Helen blows up the glass onion at the center of the island, leaving only ruin in the wake of Braun's legacy. Glass Onion satire focuses on a different class of ultra-rich, specifically people who see themselves as one step ahead of everyone around them. With the help of a world-renowned detective, though, a schoolteacher is able to outsmart them all, and leave only a giant explosion in her wake. In cathartic anger, Helen destroys Miles's glass sculptures with Miles's friends joining in. Helen lights a bonfire and throws clear into it, causing an explosion that destroys the glass onion. Helen exposes the Mona Lisa to the fire, destroying it. Realizing the painting's destruction will reveal that Clear is dangerous, ruining Miles, the group decides to testify against him for his crimes. At the beach, Helen and Blanc watch the police boats arrive. 